This is the weather forecast video for Friday, September the 16th, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a cold front across the eastern seaboard moving offshore, some cloudiness over the central plains that was producing some showers there, and another cold front over the Pacific Northwest that was moving in our direction for later in the weekend. Watch warning map from just before midnight, outside of that warning. High wind advisories in Montana, the Carolinas in northeastern Georgia, and a part of the California coast. Otherwise, the rest of the nation was quiet. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock. Shows across the state, maybe a quarter to maybe a half or three quarters of an inch, but the heaviest rain will be over northeastern Oklahoma, where three inches of rain is possible, between Tulsa and Joplin. Let's take a look at the 0Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. today. A west-east flow across the country, a bit of a wavy pattern with disturbances all along it. Down at the surface, you can see high pressure over Detroit. Southerly winds will begin to take hold here. Model wants to bring in some showers. This will likely be more cloudiness and maybe a sprinkle with the best chance of rain being over the western half of the state. Saturday, same story. Could be some rain mainly west of I-35 at least in the morning and afternoon hours, so the game at... Iowa City shouldn't be any problem. Sunday, rainfall will be likely maybe about 30 to maybe 50 percent. Won't be. It may be an all-day rain with highs in the upper 60s to mid 70s. Monday, that storm moves out. High pressure moves in. Temperatures uh, remain about the same, maybe low to mid 70s under clearing skies. We move ahead to. Tuesday, another system moves in. Low pressure in west-central Minnesota could bring some showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, that storm is now away. High pressure moves in again. Temperatures by this point with clearing skies in the upper 60s to lower 70s. We head to Thursday. High pressure overhead. Could be a cool morning. May see lows in the maybe low to mid 40s, maybe some upper 30s, depends on the wind and the dew points. Friday, a week from today, the 23rd, trough over the eastern seaboard with a bit of a ridge over the southwest and a, the storm track moving back toward the U.S. Canadian border again. And what does that mean? Means we'll be dry and high, high and dry with seasonal temperatures with rain nowhere around us. We head off now into Voodoo, September the 27th, trough over the eastern part of the country, ridge over the west. We have a northwesterly flow aloft, although it's not as strong as it is, let's say, in Wisconsin or the Great Lakes, but what does that mean? We have a big storm system to the east, we have one way off into the Pacific, and we're high and dry with seasonal temps. And at the end of the forecast on the 1st of October, where has the time gone? We have the storm track by the U.S.-Canadian border again, a ridge again over the country. Bit of a trough over the Gulf of Alaska with a big storm system there. And doesn't this look familiar? High and dry with possibly seasonal temperatures. Now here's the weekend football forecast.
Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.